really like Grand Central Station. The material gets brought here, sorted, baled, routed. Pretty quickly it's brought down here to this recycling plant and dumped on the tipping floor. And the tractor scoops it up, loads it onto a, some conveyor belts that carry it up to the recycling superstructure. It's loaded up onto the conveyor belts, it moves to this plant, it's sorted. We're gonna separate that big pile into 16 different materials. We separate the plastic from the paper, from the cardboard, aluminum. We're just sorting to get trash out and make sure we separate the paper, the plastic, cardboards, and aluminum. Oh, I got here at 3.45. <laughs> it's a hard shift because you got to get used to waking up in the morning. Whew, it's hard, but it goes by fast because you're constantly moving, so it's not like you're just standing still. You're moving, you're walking, so it's good exercise for your upper body to keep your arms in shape, no flab, <laughs> things like that. goes to a baler, gets baled, picked up by a forklift, and stationed in the back of the plant. Cardboard in one area, recycled plastics, baled steel cans, recycled and baled aluminum cans. So these all get loaded onto different trucks and they get moved out. Picking up bales of tin, take them up to uh, Cascade Steel in uh, McMinnville, Oregon, where they'll be recycled for uh, rebar and off it goes to paper mills, glass plants, plastic recycling facilities, and foundries. All trash goes somewhere. It doesn't go away. <laughs> <laughs>